What's going on everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today we're going to be talking about wild turkey rare breed non-chill filter. Yeah, non-chill filter baby. So instead of just doing a review video over the wild turkey rare breed non-chill filtered uh, because it is a travel exclusive bottle, uh, I figured we would kind of give a review of it by comparing it to the regular on the shelf bottle that we all know and love, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, the chill filtered version. If you guys watch my channel at all, you should know that I am a huge lover of non-chill filtered bourbons. I figured what better way to truly test that than take these two magnificent bottles and side by side them to truly see how much a difference uh, that chill filtering can cause, if it does cause it. I don't know, let's find out. Just for a little wrench history lesson, if you don't know what chill filtering is, uh, they take the whiskey, blah, 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 they drop the temperature down, it allows the fatty acids, proteins and esters, and you know, quite frankly, the flavor passes it through a filter, it gets rid of it, it also gets rid of all of the sediment and all kinds of stuff that can come in there from a, uh, from a barrel. Supposedly, this is all for a cosmetic purpose. Supposedly, when a whiskey gets cold, it can turn cloudy. You know, I don't really notice that. It's hot as balls outside, so maybe I'm not in the right climate. But it appears to be a strictly cosmetic purpose. It's an extra step in the process. Now, what some people, myself included, like to think is that when you're altering whiskey like that, when you're filtering it, you are inherently stripping away some of the flavor. How much? I don't know. That's what we're gonna find out. All right, wrench history lesson done. The Wild Turkey Rare Breed Non-Chill Filtered again is a travel exclusive item. So if you don't really know what that is, when you're leaving the country, a country, you're in the airport, they have duty-free stores, you're able to buy all sorts of stuff and take it with you on your journeys. Now, in the liquor stores there, you can find some pretty cool bottles, pretty good prices, and you can find exclusive products like the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Non-Chill Filtered Travel Exclusive. The good thing is that it's pretty much the same price as the Rare Breed, regular Rare Breed, maybe a little more, but you also get a little more because it comes in a liter bottle. Updated the uh, label a little bit. It has its own label. I think it looks really cool. It looks amazing. It has the extra little gold shiny lettering. Uh, it comes in a box, shiny box. You know, nothing too impressive, but again, a box. We love marketing. Same exact proof, 116.8. So as far as I can tell, it's literally rare breed non-chill filter that's it all right without further ado let's just get right into it uh over here is the rare breed uh, i want to start with the regular rare breed uh, on the nose we can side by side it with the non-chill filter here in the black glass and then we can taste them and see you know how much a difference there is if there is any so regular rare breed your typical, delicious, amazing rare breed. And then the non-chill filtered. You know, honestly, not gonna lie, a lot closer on the nose than I even thought they would be. It's not like the non-chill filtered version is smelling like a totally different product. It smells like Wild Turkey Rare Breed, okay? It, in a blind, you wouldn't suspect anything out of the ordinary, I don't think. Now, side by siding them, and the more you kind of pick it apart and really look if there is a difference, I think on the nose, very subtly, the non-chill filtered seems to be a little more orangey, like orange citrus, orange peel. That kind of is elevated, I guess, a little bit, make it seem like there's more. Um, and another thing is kind of the oakiness. I feel like it 
smells oakier than regular rare breed. And I don't know if it's just oakier or if it that oaky quality again is just bolder. It's kind of jumping out of the glass a little more because again, they smell really close. All right, let's taste the regular rare breed, then we'll get into the non-chill filter. Man, have you ever just passed on rare breed for a while, you go back to it? Freaking amazing. This bottle's a hitter bottle. Nice turkey spiciness. A little bit of that orange zestiness, oakiness, almost like a nuttiness too. Love this bottle. But the real meat and potatoes to this turkey dinner, the non-chill filter. I think to some people, I don't know if they can tell like a drastic, you know, this is totally different. But it is, I think it's a little more, just everything seems a bit bolder, a little more in your face, I guess I would say. They taste like wild turkey rare breed. Okay, do not get me wrong through any of this. I just think the non-chill filtered version, it's like on the palate I get, just like on the nose, a little more oakiness. It's like I'm getting more of the barrel. Uh, you take something like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and you get that charriness. I feel like there's a little bit more of it on the non-chill filtered version. It's weird, it's weird. When you go back and forth, you can start seeing differences more and more. I, I don't know how to sound, say this without sounding weird. Uh, going back to the uh, rare breed, the regular rare breed, it's almost a little prettier, if that makes sense. Like, it's kind of, you know, lack for a better word, smooth. It just has these nice, clean, round edges. To me, maybe a little brighter. I guess uh, the citrus notes a little more brighter. Whereas the non-chill filtered, I, I really do get more of this oaky char. It's kind of maybe filtered out of the regular rare breed. Honestly, it is a lot closer than I was even expecting, but I can tell a, a subtle difference if anything. It's not just mind-blowingly different, uh, but that kind of leads me into the argument of why would you do that? If it's cosmetic purposes, even if it's 5% or 10% more flavor in the non-chill filtered version, it's like, isn't that the purpose of being a whiskey maker? You are an artisan and you should want the best tasting thing possible. And I don't know, maybe I'm just speaking for me. If I was a whiskey maker, but I would want that 10% in my whiskey. Especially your marketing is barrel proof. You know, you should want it to be, this is what it is out of the barrel to include a little bit of the barrel. And my main argument too is, you know, it's cheaper to just to not do that step. Just skip it. We don't have to do it. Throw it in the bottle. We get out of here. It ain't a taste better. Honestly though, I will give it the benefit of the doubt. The regular rare breed on the shelf is amazing. It's really good. I don't think any of you would disagree. I think a lot of you are like, yeah, dude, that bottle's so good. But I'm telling you, there's something subtly different. And as a rare breed lover, I think some of you would pick up on it and say, this just feels like rare breed, but more. And I think that's what I really like about this is that that more, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but it's more, you can tell. Now my closing thoughts about the non-chill filtered wild turkey rare breed. Um, if you are traveling, I think you should definitely pick up a bottle. If you're leaving the country, you're coming back into the country, see if they got it. Um, it's pretty much the same price. And you know, that's another kind of caveat in this whole situation. Um, it's not like this bottle is, you know, tastes better and then it's X amount of more dollars. It's the same price, essentially. So uh, for people who are buying this on secondary or whatever, don't do that. It's not that much better. This isn't like a holy grail of wild turkey. It's, it's just this, 
but a little more. But as someone who's traveling, if you have the opportunity, definitely do it. You get a liter of it, and it would be interesting. I would love to hear if you've tried this, if you have this bottle, what you think of it compared to the regular Wild Turkey Rare Breed. What would be interesting is if we did something similar to this, uh, if we could take like a lower proof bourbon and it's normally chill filtered, if we could get that at a non-chill filter to see if there is a difference. So you just take like a super budget bottle, compare it chill filtered versus non-chill filtered. I think it would stand out a little more because we were comparing a hitter bottle to another hitter bottle. All in all though, I still think, you know, what the heck, give me as much flavor as you can, even if it's just a little bit. And, you know, it's not more work for you. It's less work. So I'm gonna stick with my saying, non-chill filter, baby. There we have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll take this time of the video to go ahead and talk to you guys about the Bourbon Ranch Patreon page because, don't leave, you wanna hear this, multiple barrel picks incoming. So if that's something that interests you, you wanna get in on exclusive barrel picks, we have a 15-year-old light whiskey, obtainium light whiskey coming. Also have a eight-year Sagamore Spirits single barrel rye coming, as well as exclusive glasses, Glencairns, Kinsey's, coasters, coins, flasks, barrel flight trays, friggin' everything, exclusive merch. I really do hook you guys up, and it's all because of you for choosing to support me. That's gonna do it. I'm Trev Wilson. I'll see you guys in the next video.